On this episode of Let's Go Shoot Content, Popo almost gets run over by a truck. What's up everyone, Topher here for Northwest Motorsport. I am Northwest Motorsport's content specialist. What's a content specialist do? Well, my job is to take beautiful trucks to beautiful locations and take awesome photos, video, and all around content. So today, we are going to Mowich Lake in the foothills of Mount Rainier. So on this trip, I have been tasked with two objectives. Number one is always epic drone footage. Number two, we are going to check out some photo spots, get an entire photo set done, and just take a look at the sights and take it all in and really take in Mother Nature as a whole. You know what I mean? Really just bask in Mother Nature's glory. Anyways, I'm taking this Tacoma. We're going that way towards the Fairfax Bridge, and uh, let's go check it out. On the last episode of Let's Go Shoot Content, you guys saw me go out to Wilkeson. Well, where I didn't go was the Fairfax Bridge. What I'm standing on right now is the Fairfax. Oh my God, there's a car coming. If you've never heard of the Fairfax Bridge, it is probably one of the most terrifying bridges you will ever drive across in your entire life. I believe it's about 400 feet tall. They have a couple of little lookouts over on each side. I'm not joking you when I say how far it really is down to the bottom. Now, funny story, I actually shot some video right here. The first time I came out to this spot, I was like, you know what, it'd be really cool to get a drone shot of my truck driving across the bridge here. The, the drone come in and just looking beautiful, right? I go to test it out. I'll just get a really cool shot of myself so I can put, you know, on my Instagram, make myself look good. So I launch my drone right here. I send it off that way. I'm all smiling, I'm like, hey, and it starts to drift off towards these trees right here. And I'm like, oh crap, oh crap. Oh, no, 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 no. And in the video, you can see the drone literally turns and you see it miss the branches as it goes up and over these branches right here. And that's the story about how I almost lost my brand new drone the third time out trying to fly. So that's my story about the lovely Fairfax Bridge. If you have a chance to come here, make sure you check it out. But if you have a fear of heights, I would not recommend it. Also, don't try and fly your drone because that wind current is intense. So we are going to get back in our truck and go check it out. Let's go. Okay, so I just found a really cool spot that I want to get a shot. We are going to climb up this huge thing here. We're backing the truck up. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Hold on. Okay. <sighs> We're really high up here. I think we're good, okay? Okay. All right, we turn it around. Oh, geez. My shoelace is caught. Holy cow, this is loud. Okay, we're good. Let's roll. you get the shot okay how, how do i get how do i get down here go. oh god we're okay try not to die on the job here we made it that is quite the uh i was all the way up there dang if you haven't noticed since we've gone up to mount rainier we've officially hit snow so we're doing a snow shoot as well as a fall shoot oh, all right let's go <laughs> So we are on our way to Mowich Lake. We did not anticipate so much snow. I just had to put it in four wheel drive low, getting up this road here. We've got about six inches, because this is a small lifted Toyota Tacoma with, you know, they're, they're off-road tires, but they're not chunky off-road tires. So it's a little precarious, but I have faith in this Tacoma because it, it's gotten me this far. We should be okay. Now, four wheel drive is faring very well. Oh, I think I see the sign for Mowich Lake. Yes, Mowich! We have arrived. We have arrived. I hope there's actually like a spot to shoot at the lake because there's not. I'm gonna be really annoyed if I can't see this lake. I 
came all the way up here for that. So, funny story. There's no parking next to Mowich Lake. Didn't know this when I set out on this excursion, but live and you learn. So, instead of getting cool pictures next to the lake with a bunch of snow, we're gonna get cool pictures next to this overlook and uh, hope for the best. Let's check it out. Now, after all that, finally, we're able to shoot some photos. So today, I got the Sony a7 III, like I had in the last video, with the same lens, the 25 to 70 millimeter Tamron f2.8. Since there was no place next to Mowich Lake to park the truck, stage it, take pictures, I figured this switchback about a quarter mile from the lake would be the best place to stop off and shoot some photos. Mowich Lake's elevation is 4,929 feet. That means for the last mile or so, the temperature decreased about 20 degrees and we found a ton of snow on the ground. It was about six inches driving up into the park for Mowich Lake. This is the first time this year that I had been able to shoot in snow, so it was a pretty cool little surprise. Pretty lucky that I decided to make this trip in October rather than November because, well, we probably wouldn't be able to make it up this high for a few more months. I can't wait to revisit this spot in the summer or the spring and really see how it changes when it's, you know, not covered in snow. But I mean, regardless, it is beautiful up here. And that was the shoot. Thank you guys for checking out this video. Uh, Malish Lake was really, really cool. I did not expect to see snow. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell to turn on notifications so you see when we post more videos just like this one. Drop a comment and let me know where I should visit out here in Washington. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.